packaged route. I know Munich Augsburg comes with the ICE 3. I don't know if there's anything else does. I don't think so. Right, let's see how we get on. If not, I'll have to restart it with medium settings. Oh, hang on. Focused on the wrong window when I press T. <laughs> Oh, of course my software's... Oh no, my software's working still. Normally when the game dies, the software dies. Don't know why. Oh, I haven't taken my tea bag out yet. Getting a bit excited about my tea. Well, so far, so good. Oh, man, I'm Karlsruhe has the ICE-3. And Hamburg Hanover has the ICE too. There you go. Oh, another four four two coming in the other way there. Right, we've now got a light. You have a peach flavour uh, Lipton iced tea in the fridge. In the fringe? Well, it's gone then, isn't it, if it's in the fringe? Off we go then, folks. Oh, you're doing the 0729. That service of great infamy on the London Brighton line. Because <laughs> it's never been on time a single day. Bird poop. Gatwick Airport. So this is Gatwick Express service then. Get the 40 limit in a moment. We've got green lights. get 75 very shortly as well. Moggy's getting upset. What are you getting upset for, Moggy? It's a train with Gatwick Express written on the side and we're stopping at Gatwick. And we're only stopping at Gatwick. <laughs> it's not a Gatwick Express. Alright then. <laughs> hey Faults Gaming, welcome. I am fine, thank you. How are you? Wiper test. There you go. Oh, 
Yeah, London Brighton's one of my favourite routes as well, Ayrton's eight. It's a good it's a good commuter line. It doesn't even say Gatwick Express, oh it just says Express, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, I, I need to remove that emergency button. That's annoying. Having the uh, emergency stop button right next to the horn button is a recipe for disaster. Brakes are getting very excitable. No, we're we're still going to be on time-ish. We can get accelerated in good time. Twenty-one miles to get that back, though. Did anyone clip that fail? Oh, my light's off. There you go. Oh, it's too late to clip it now, Stargate King, if it hasn't been clipped already. If you're going to clip it, you've got to do it uh, pretty much immediately. But put it in the form, because like, that way I can find it in the video. Amtrak 109, what scenario or route am I doing next? Um, we're doing the Camus Railroad, the Camus, uh, Camus Prairie Railroad next. Oops, don't need to be doing 91. A lot easier to do 90 in this than it was in Flying Scotsman. <laughs> Does it work on the VODs? It doesn't work on the VODs, no. You have to do it real time. But if I, if I know when, when it is, then when I put a failure together I can just go back into the VODs, download them and clip them out myself. Like I did for the other one. seem to have a fair bit of rolling resistance going on at the moment. I don't think the brakes are properly released. No, they haven't. I can see the um, pressure gauge wibbling around. Hey, HDT Nitron. Train lever, uh, I've no idea about TS rewards. You'll need to ask Dovetail about that. Uh, Callum, I'd like to stream it. Uh, is it on Steam Workshop? Uh, 
Amtrak, um, Amtrak level 123, Camus Prairie. Am I right in thinking there's about 14 miles in the about towards the north of the route? That's the bit that's actually the bit to show? Because that's the bit that I've got lined up to show. West Coast Mainline Shap with a 350. Find me a scenario, Volts Gaming, and I'll be more than happy to do that. Oh, in that case, Callum, I won't be able to run it. I, can only, I only run the stuff that comes from Steam Workshop or from Steam itself. What are we on? 20 FPS. Oh, this 760 Ti just doesn't cut it compared to a 970. <laughs> Getting ahead of schedule now, so building up some some time for slacking off later on. <laughs> I just realised the gamma correction is still active. starting to rain. Yeah. I might need to. Wipers might need to come on. Might have to put the wipers on just in case it starts raining. Twelve miles to Gatwick Airport. Ends. You can't drive the 87 on West Coast Main on over Shap. I have a video how to drive for the 87. Yeah, if you have a look at that, um, uh, at that video, uh, Ayrton, that should show you what you need to do to figure out the 87. Good fun, actually. It's worth persevering. Volts Gaming, this is indeed London to Brighton. Awful loco. <laughs> it's not awful about being a kid, it's lovely. Ten miles to go.
I'm going to ask you all a question. Just, I'm interested in the debate. Who here runs trains in wrong countries? Just because that's what you want to do? Is that something that is, uh, has everyone just sort of gone, <gasps> or is that like something you actually do just because you want to have a mad five minutes, or is it just, is, what is, what is, is that something you do? It's one of those things you can do in the game, but... Run the Mallard on the uh, Miami route. What do I mean? Uh, for example, um, running three this 442, this is third rail train. So running a class 47 in Sherman Hill, or running uh, an ES44 in Germany, or a BR101 in uh, from Germany in the UK. Try running. Have you done? You know, tried running different trains um, in different in the wrong countries than the ones that they're supposed to be on. Gtel on London Brighton. <laughs> Duchess on Hamburg Hanover. You've over four seven four dot three on PDL. Wow. Okay, so it seems like something people do occasionally. That's good to know actually. Obviously, following something now. Five miles to Gatwick Airport. Uh, my thoughts. You mean UK train sim live, as in the exhibition road shows? No, they've stopped. Um, UKTS stopped doing those. Single yellow. Three quarters of a mile to our stop. Uh, my uh, my thoughts. No, UK Train Sim Live don't do exhibitions anymore. Well, UK Train Sim don't do the UKTS Live exhibitions anymore. They stopped uh, quite a while ago now.
Is there any way to get 1920 by 1080 in window mode? I imagine so, if you've got a desktop resolution which is um, su sufficiently bigger than 1920 by 1080. Or you can do borderless windowed at 1920-1080, which is how I run the game. Two point eight miles, Gatwick Airport. How's the sixty FPS thing going? You tell me. Unfortunately, this machine really can't get much above thirty FPS. So I'm not sure anyone's getting the benefit of it, but. I ended up not getting my laptop back, but it will come back eventually. Another single yellow. Thanks for the follow, much appreciated. One and three quarter miles. The next station is London Victoria. DW Wild well, Clean Class. Have I been to the real Nebworth station yet? I certainly have. Who's responsible for the random high pitched sneeze? Yeah, I've no idea where that comes from. Taking it easy now, we're way ahead of schedule. Crossing over. Boss Gaming, yes there, is, there are three Flying Scotsmans, I don't know which ones are available, but there was one in LNER Apple Green, one in BR Brunswick Green, Green, green not Green, um, and there was also the Wartime Black, which was the last one, the latest one that we released. Yeah, we ran the black fly, the, the 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 wartime black flying Scotsman as the first scenario tonight.
Hopefully when we release the brakes they'll sort themselves out this time. And then we are non-stop express <laughs> to Snorland apparently, to um, Victoria. You sent me a train in the wrong country scenario. Nice, sexy. That'll upset a few people. <laughs> What's the max scenario time limit for my streams, C. Rogers? Um, I don't stream anything longer than 90 minutes. I prefer to stream nothing uh, to stream 60 minutes or less, but 90 is the hard limit. Mostly because once you get to about 45 minutes, everyone starts saying, When's it finished? Yes, I do have the slowest approach speeds, but the point is I was way ahead of schedule, so there was no point racing into the platform. 1,200 scenarios for London Brighton being a 2001. Wow, that's a lot. I know there, there was a lot last time I saw it, but... Moggy, are we there yet? Just looking for somewhere to park, mate. One hour, three minutes. Perfect. Wow, this is a long stop. I thought that for the rail fan tutorial, um, what we do is make a rail fanning scenario at Nebworth. I thought that might be interesting. We've got a red light in front of us, so there's no rush. You're ordering a Tasmo. <laughs> You a coffee or a tea person, Twarg? Which Tassamo is it you're getting, Twarog? Because what I'd say, if you're into tea, I would get the um, the water uh, tab, um, which is three or four quid. It looks like it looks like this, and um, it uh, it just means that the thing will give it. It turns the Tassamo into a kettle, but it's a kettle you haven't got to boil, which is uh, awesome. 
and then you can just stick a tea bag in and you don't have to spend um, loads of money on uh, tea tabs which I just don't see the point of obviously if it's coffee that you want then uh, you want to get the coffee tabs yeah water discs are blue or green, the one for mine is a green I've not been able to find the blue ones anywhere which was fortunate because it turned out I didn't need them <laughs> Did I get a new capture card, Toff? No, I'm not using a capture card. I'm doing the whole lot on one PC. I don't have a streaming machine. Oh yes, I sh I'm, I'm planning a number of uh, special services on the uh, on the rail fan. Jim Bob, how can I take things out of this game if they're not in there? If they're not there, I don't know what you mean, Jim Bob. Yeah, you, your heart's in the right place, Twelve, mate. Your heart's in the right place. <laughs> oh, I should have DRA on. You're quite right. Uh, I've got your link for the J50 scenario, C. Rogers. I'm going looking forward to having a look at that. Oh, you want to get rid of the Battersea gas holder? There's not really any way you can do that without actually cloning. You can clone the route and edit it, but then you can't share it. Although you could, sh you could actually publish the your own version of the route onto Steam Workshop. Yeah, this is a heck of a stop, isn't it? Probably find it's completely realistic. In future, if someone makes a scenario where you can stop like this, can you put a message up that says, you, you may go and have dinner and come back and finish in half an hour? <laughs> Twarag, it's green. Did the power outage interrupt yesterday's stream? Yeah, it did. It killed this stone dead. <laughs> I know it's green, but I'm my uh, oh, you mean this? Yeah, I've still got the doors open at the moment. Remember them door things? Yeah, these things, they need, they're open at the moment. Right, there's a tree on the line at Norbury and the fast and slow lines at that location are closed. You'll be diverted through Crystal Palace to Victoria, so expect your arrival at Victoria to be delayed. Please inform your passengers. Something's wrong on the line up ahead. It's going to take you ages to get home. Settle in for a nice long ride. Apologies for the problem later on. Why can't I get me train to move?
Oh. Duh. <laughs> Special me. Right. Am I streaming on a laptop, Tyson? It's cool. No, this is a desktop. It's not as powerful as the laptop, though. <laughs> As Ag said, yeah, that's exactly why DRA is there. It makes you, it prevents the train from moving until you realise what's going on. If you haven't even realised DRA is on, then the train has no business moving. Ninety limit. Won't be long before we get the workshop route, Francois, now. What's your new tablet, see Rogers? My daughter's a bit gutted because uh, she wanted a... Um, uh, <coughs> her her um, Huddle 2 was one of the ones that was nicked when the house was robbed. And um, Tesco don't make Huddle 2s anymore. So she can't have her tablet back, so she'll have to have something else. Can you make your pump car entry true? Uh, funny, absolutely. Uh, just before it was the week before Christmas, and all were asleep, and some lousy lout came and wandered in the came broke in the house. Didn't take a great deal, but one laptop. My daughter was my sis, uh, my wife's laptop, and uh, um, three tablets. My tablet and two kids' tablets. It just happened to be all sitting in a pile. <laughs> Twerk. I don't get it. I was told to watch replays on my tablet. I've been staring at this parasite more for hours. Nothing. A Fusion 5 octa-core. Ooh, how much do they run to, see Rogers? My, my daughter's got a budget of 99 quid. Because that's what the Huddle 2 was going to cost. We're looking at getting a... Our Argos have got a uh, Samsung... Uh, Samsung Tab 4 7-inch tablet for 99 quid. At least I know Samsung make a quality piece of kit. Right, speed's dropping to 80. Was the house damaged? No. No, they exploited a weakness in the, um, in the French door windows at the back. Never mind, it's all over now. The insurance has paid up for all the stuff that was nicked and I've got a spankling new uh, Microsoft Surface 3 tablet which I'm over the moon with. So... Well, I've got a new laptop.
Yeah, we were all up asleep upstairs, Dave. Basically, after I'd done streaming that day, I went inside and sat and watched some telly for a while. And about three o'clock, I went up to bed. You know, because I'm sort of nuts. Um, and um, looks like the house was robbed about half an hour later. A tablet's worth getting. It depends what you want to use. I'm sort of a hit and miss on some of them. Oh, Vault's Gaming's got Huddle 2. I was very impressed with the Huddle 2. Yeah, so we all watched. You're right, Dave. Uh, yeah, the door is now bolted closed. And the back gate has got um, an alarmed padlock on it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jeep fan. That's far worse than what we had. Burglar alarm wouldn't help us, Dave. Because uh, cats set off the burglar alarm. We've got quite a nice burglar alarm, but we can't turn it on because the uh, the cats will set it off. <laughs> Did they go and see Matt Pedalston live? <laughs> Yeah, dogs are good. I mean, the cats seem to just let them uh, do what they like. I was tied up, told the cats, and uh, I was pretty, uh, I was pretty unhappy with them. Yes, you can get infrared sensors aren't affected by pets. Uh, pets, unfortunately, we don't got them at the moment. So, I need to I need to get do some work on our burglar alarm so that I can start using it again, or at least make it to where we can switch on all of the door the um, the entry sensors. 113 pounds. That's not bad. Next signal's good. Yeah, it's all all's fine, JHM Studios. We're sort of we're over that sort of you know how you you, you get a little bit sort of psychologically funny about every time you hear a creak, um, you think, oh my god, someone's breaking in the house. It's like no. Yeah, I've had a uh, couple of bikes stolen, and I can uh, I can safely say that my, at least one of them was my own stupid fault. I mean, it was. In a bike shed, it had two thick um, things securing it, but I did leave it there for seven months. <laughs> An alarm gate, uh, what started it? Probably the way I was driving. Red coming up. Yeah, our car was robbed as well, but unfortunately, fortunately, I guess it was the uh, um, it was unlocked, so they didn't have to break their way into it. It's the only problem with those those clickers you have in your pockets, you rub them up against the, uh, in, uh, rub your leg up against a, uh, um, a chair, arm of a chair and you accidentally unlock the car. You never know. I wish they'd have like a switch on the side so that you can uh, turn them off so they don't do anything. Don't 
Double yellow. Your car is unlocked as well, Volkswagen. It's very easy to do, isn't it? A key hook in the kitchen. Yeah, well, we're going to switch to something like that. Start hanging our keys up. See, my wife's got a different approach. She just throws them on the floor somewhere. Unfortunately, hers was stolen. Cheers to our shadow. It's starting to get a little bit busier now on the line. Double yellow, so we're red in 1.1 miles. Oh, it's just gone green. Good. We're uh, we're okay, probably to 1.6. More likely, it's because the 60 limit that's up there, where uh, the train in front has been forced to slow down. Double yellow coming up around the corner. Yep, it's just gone green again. Coming up on East Croydon. double yellow slow down for this 45 Single, so a home into East Croydon is red. See a dat picker. The ETA isn't going down, it must mean there's a hidden instruction in there, Tyson is cool. About 11.65 um, away from London, Victoria. Entry to the platform is currently blocked. Cheers JHM Studios.
Have we gone yellow? Looks like we've gone yellow. Do I think there'll ever be a Eurostar route on trains? I've got no idea. Be pretty awesome. Moggy's off. See you later, Moggy. Thanks for everything. Right, going into the 25 limit here. Right, we've got a junction control here. What sort of locos are using the workshop route? I'm going to be running a Union Pacific GP30. Yep, whether they were hidden instructions, they've now gone away. Alright, we've got a yellow with a uh, feather indicator, so we're turning right here. I think this must be South London and Brighton, because we're on we're getting onto South London network in a minute, I think, if we're not already. Let's have a look on the map. Yeah, this is South London, Brighton. Have I ever had a space launch? I'm not sure what you mean, Volts Gaming. Francois, the distance didn't go down because of the hidden instruction, so it's just started going down, so we are now 10 miles away from the, the, uh, the end. Title is wrong. No, this is the right title. Oh, it says London Brighton because I thought it was London Brighton, but I've just realised it's South London Brighton. Have I shown the stream where I swap a player like on a scenario? I certainly did. I did that yesterday. Back up to 30, we're going to get 60 in a minute. There we go. Up we go to 60. Scripting to change from one loco to another. How do you know it's possible, Simon? Where have you seen it? I 
because I'm not aware of a way of doing it. Oh, where a train goes into the air. Yes, I know what you mean. In Trains vs Zombies the track was blocked and you switched to another train. I'd need to check, but I imagine it was a cheat of some sort. <laughs> I think I know what you're referring to, Simon Lund. I'm just trying to remember the technique. It was something like an invisible barrier wagon and you coupled up to the other train and then you just switched cab, essentially. Right, we're coming up to Crystal Palace. Yeah, that's another word. Yeah, that's I mean essentially as long as it's in one train you can switch to the other one. couple up to the train, switch to that train and then uncouple the uh, the loco you had originally. Eight point six miles going through a slow bit. Volts Gaming, do you still stream weekdays or now every day? I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday for Train Sim. Wednesday I stream Minecraft on twitch.tv slash down the mineshaft. Um, it's very rare that I get to do a weekend stream, but I'm gonna try I think I'm gonna try and do a weekend stream this weekend. If I get time. I got some jobs from videos and things that I wanna get done. And once I get them done, then we can play trains. Something like that, I'm tracked, yeah. I don't know how well does your scenario engine will react to do changing locos, but if you're trying to do something relatively simple, it might work. If you're trying to get too clever, yeah, then it probably won't.
Slowing down for 35. Having to pay a bit of attention to the speed limits here. Not that you'd notice. Thanks, cheap fan. Thanks for the follow. It's a good laugh, the Minecraft stream. It's a bit different. I might play with Snow at the weekend. I'll see what I end up doing, uh, Chris. I'm looking forward to seeing it again, as usual. Quality scenario. West Norwood. Good night, Volts. We'll see you later on, maybe the maybe tomorrow. Hand car on the main line. <laughs> Next signal is on. Screech to a halt. We're bound for Victoria. We're almost back onto the uh, onto the line now. So this is the train that's in our way. He's stopped. He should probably just get his backside moving. Everything seems to have stopped. Well, thank you very much. I do try. Uh, where'd the where'd the route go? Oh, maybe it's not his time to start yet. He might be sitting there waiting for his start time. I sit and wait for this guy to go. But why have you got white lights on there? That doesn't make any sense. There he goes. We're obviously running ahead of schedule.
Not at in Local Express now, no Jeep van, we appear to... Oh, we've got to go. We're clear to the next light anyway. Only clear to the tunnel. What happened to the train? Um, we got in. There's a bit of a blockage, so we just because we're ahead of schedule, so we're waiting behind. Uh, waiting, behi waiting for everyone to move and get out of my way. Six miles, and I guess it's going to be a fairly painful six miles. Oh, he's just leaving that platform. The 442 in front is uh, coming into Balham. Oh, we've got the yellow. Red Light Simulator 2016. That sounds like it might be something entirely different. But possibly more popular. Well thought out scenarios are going. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Chris. Okay, I up to Streatham Hill. No point rushing. No point at all. On yellow. 5.6 miles to go. down for this 30 for a slip junction you need manual automatic entirely up to you Amtrak what I would the general rule is if it's on the main line it should be automatic if it's in the yard it should be manual halfway Hawaii thank you for the follow much appreciated Just under five miles to go. J 
Do you know how to make platforms in routes that snap to track? Uh, I've done two platform tutorial videos now, see Rogers? Um, the first one's up. The second one isn't actually li live yet, but the first one will tell you a lot of what you want to know. Oh, green lights. Happy days. 25 limit, not quite so happy days. Model your local station, Mr. Platform out altogether. GG. <laughs> Oh, we've caught up with something again. Oh, did I already upload the second place in platform video? Okay, I couldn't remember if I'd done the other one or not. Like I said, I know I'm behind, but I can't remember how far. Just be thankful it isn't a career scenario. Why? I'm well ahead of schedule. What was it? The uh, schedule, anyway. Clap them. <laughs> it's got plopper mouth. Clap them junction. London Victoria is just round the corner, around three or four more corners.
It's sort of that way. That way. Speed up to 45. We've got a double yellow, so we're good for another 0.8. Loads of AI now we're at this end of the route. Yeah. Anyone think it was getting late? <laughs> that way, eh, man? I spot a Jordy there, Chris. Can you imagine a chat full of coplopper males? Is the world ready for that? Geordie accent where we're staying awake. <laughs> Chris started it. How do you refuel though, Cousin Train Sim? Pull up to the refueler, press T. Or on the HUD, you press the load unload button. Crossing the Thames, heading for Victoria. This is a single yellow. Probably got a, uh, a red as the home signal until our platform is cleared up. Can you fuel a non leader locomotive? I don't know, Jeep Van. I don't think so. I think you can only fuel your locomotive. But whether you could control minus to the loco you want to load and then use that to um, to do it, that might work. Because control minus control plus are the ones that let you change the cab that you're um, you're in. So that might help you um, switch to the loco you want to refuel. Press T and once that loco is in the right place and do it that way. Perhaps. It's worth a try maybe. We are clear for platform 17, which is where we want to go.
Right, we're nearly there. Just got to pull in here and stop, and we're done. Yeah, and I think we peaked out at about 140 plus Ag Seek. TS will crash on arrival to Victoria, yeah, well, of course it will. Normally London Bridge that suffers that problem though, not this. Oh, apparently I was I, I missed that. I don't quite know why I failed that scenario. Given there was no time on the last stop. Oh well never mind. That was good. I enjoyed that. That was uh one A one Alpha O nine Brighton to Victoria by Traction Depot, class four four two on London Brighton. Right, last scenario, let's get going. 